Visor Down is looking for Britain's best undiscovered biking roads. A few weeks ago we asked you to nominate the country's lesser known fantastic motorcycle roads. Loads of you have responded. We're narrowing it down to five and we're riding the first one today. Uh, when we've ridden them all on one of five different Kawasaki's we're using for each route, when we've ridden them all we'll choose a winner and whoever nominated it will get a Kawasaki watch, a Kawasaki jacket and VIP passes to a BSB round. So. Uh, we've got a guest rider for the first route. You might have heard of him. Currently leading in BSB, it's Leon Haslam. Right. All right, Leon. All good. Uh, how's it going? All good, mate. All good. Uh, so, um, how are you feeling after your crash at Alton Park? A bit uh, bruised? Yeah, quite good, actually. I got away with it. Um, one of those scary 160 mile an hour, pretty much rear ended James when he had a bike problem. Uh, so, yeah. Pretty uh, thankful that I walked away from that one and uh, managed to just slide uh, down the middle of the track. Yeah, he lost power, is that right? His, en his engine cut out? Yeah, he had a, an engine problem. Um, so yeah, just clicked fourth gear and literally had nowhere to go. And right. Managed to hit the back of him without me hitting him too hard and uh, straight over the underbar sort of thing. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I okay. saw the video, it looked pretty scary. Um, uh, but you must be feeling good about the championship at the moment. Yeah, so far so good. A um, couple of wins at Darlington, the win at Alton was fantastic. Um, yeah, the, the team this year in Kawasaki and JG and all the boys have got a really good package. Um, I know it's going to com come competitive, I know Shaky's going to come good and, and a few of the other top guys, but uh, like I say, so far so good and we'll keep pushing on. Yeah, cool. Um, okay, so the first road we're going to ride, it's the B6047 from Market Harbour to Melton Mulberry in Leicestershire. It's kind of rolling hills, sweeping bends and just kind of really nice um, quintessential English countryside really and quite quiet. Uh, because it's quite sort of twisty, we thought we'd get you to ride it on the 125 horsepower uh, Z900, which is new for this year. Um, I'm gonna, uh, so I'm gonna follow Leon. Uh, I'm gonna be on the ZX10. Uh, I'll try to keep up, so I'll be behind him for at least the first 50 yards. Um, and then later on, we'll come back to you with our thoughts on the road. <laughs> So as you'll have gathered by now, we're looking for Britain's best undiscovered biking roads. We asked you to nominate them, you did, and we're narrowing them down to five, starting with this one, the B6047 from Market Harbour to Melton Mulberry in Leicestershire. It was nominated by a chap called David Hall, thanks David. If we decide it's the best of the final five, he'll get a prize from Kawasaki, including a watch, jacket and two VIP BSB passes. It's no coincidence that we're also riding Kawasaki's, a different model on each route. For this road, I'm on the ZX10R, and that chap that I'm riding with, who apparently is quite good on a bike, is on a Z900, Kawasaki's 125 horsepower naked bike. It's Leon Haslam, who would obviously be more at home on this, the ZX10R, because that's what he rides in BSB. But then I'd be on my own and he'd be vanishing over the horizon. Actually, I was worried that I might be filming a spec vanishing over the horizon, but Leon is taking a consistently steady pace, mindful of all traffic regulations, as I've no doubt he always is. Which highlights what a shame it is that half of this road is a 50 mile per hour speed limit zone. It's an absolutely stunning stretch of road, like a big grey shoelace tossed onto the kind of rolling green hills that would make a postcard image of English countryside. It's relatively quiet and 50 miles per hour seems excessively restrictive. It's not all like that thankfully, about halfway to Melton Mulberry the speed limit rises to 60 and the extra 10 miles per hour adds about 40% to the fun. This second half is also the better part of the road. There are sharp turns, but mostly sweeping ones. At, at times you can see the road winding its way through the hills ahead. It's a welcome image to any motorcyclist. It's not especially challenging, I don't think, although I've no doubt it could be if you're going fast enough. It's more just a road that's made to be ridden, a slither of tarmac that all riders will find irresistible at any speed. I so we've just ridden the B6047 from Market Harbour to Melton Mulberry in Leicestershire. It is really nice. Uh, it's kind of, it's really hilly, rolling hills. It is kind of quintessential English countryside, rolling hills and winding bends through them. Um, really scenic and uh, really quiet, uh, importantly. Perhaps not quite as many um, tight turns as, uh, as I, I, I'd expected, but still really nice. What, what did you think, Leon? Yeah, for me it's um, you know a kind of kind of a calming ride. It's nice flowing. The scenery is fantastic. Um, a few of the sections, I imagine, a few of the circuits that I've rode in the past, like the Alton Park section, and oh, really? you know, the up and the down the hills, and, and even the left hander at the Laguna Seca up to the corkscrew. You know, one of the corners reminded me of that. So yeah, it's uh, 
me an enjoyable, nice, uh, relaxing ride. Do you actually get much time to ride on the road? I guess you don't, do you? Because you're, you're training so much and you're on track so much. Yeah, not as much as I'd like. Um, I do a lot more riding in Europe when I'm out there, um, as in that's more my downtime. Uh, when I'm in the UK, I'm quite busy. I'm doing a lot on track, as, uh, not so much on the road. So, uh, yeah, it is actually nice. For me, when I do ride on the road, it's more of a, I'm looking for more of a relaxing ride rather than a, a challenging, uh, you know, uh, a thrill-seeking ride. You know, when I do get the chance to have a little bit of fun, it's more to go out there and enjoy the scenery. Does it qualify as one of the country's best roads to you? For, for me, it's one of the better rides for what I would look for from a road because it is so relaxing, you know, the scenery, the, uh, the flowing nature of it, you know, you're not stop starting and, and there's hardly any traffic there. For me, it was a really enjoyable ride. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame about the 50 mile, 50 mile an hour limiting sections, isn't it? But yeah, uh, that's, it's, uh, it's, it's always the case, you know, it's, uh, you want to open it up, but, uh, you know, the, I think you've got to switch off when it comes to them sort of things and, and just enjoy it for what it is. It, it does change, doesn't it? It does become more winding, more hilly, and the 50 mile per hour speed limit uh, ends. Uh, so, what we'll do now is we'll go and check out the next one.